Hello, today I'm going to discuss about force balance and motion balance pneumatic positioner. First thing first, what is positioner? Positioner is none other than a controller. But this controller is specifically designed for control valve. The duty of the positioner is to achieve specific position or travel distance based on the given set point. Now, what is force balance and motion balance? There is one thing in common between these two. That is the key word balance. Balance means the constant gap between nozzle and baffle. Sometimes you will find people use the word beam or flapper instead of baffle. Okay. Now let me discuss about the force balance pneumatic positioner. But before that, let me talk about force balance. Now, force balance is the balance or the constant gap between nozzle baffle is achieved through the process where the force produced by the set point or control signal is countered by the reaction force produced by the feedback of the stem position. Well, for the motion balance, the balance or the constant gap between the beam and nozzle is achieved through the process where the set point or control signal produces a motion and this motion is countered by the reaction motion produced by the stand position. Let me discuss more about force balance pneumatic positioner. Before I delve into force balance and motion balance pneumatic positioner, there are two things we need to take notes. One is a set point or control signal. Another thing is the feedback of the position of the stem. Okay, so for this uh, force balance pneumatic positioner, if we increase the set point or control signal, what will happen? And if we reduce the control signal or set point, what will happen also? Now, let's say if we can produce or we supply or we increase the control signal or set point. For example, increase from 3 PSI to 10 PSI. What will happen is the pneumatic air signal to the bellow will increase. Thus, will cause the baffle move toward the nozzle. And this action will result lesser air leak out to the atmosphere and more air will flow to the amplifier relay. This additional air plus the incoming air supply will increase the output pneumatic air signal to the actuator. Thus will cause the diaphragm move outward even more. As a result, both stem and the attached spring tension will move outward even more. Due to the location of the fulcrum at the middle of the force beam, this movement of spring tension outward will cause the baffle to move downward. Thus, we will keep the gap between nozzle and baffle constant. If we reduce the set point or control signal, for example, from 15 psi to 5 psi, this will cause lesser pneumatic air signal to the bellows. And because of this, the baffle will move downward and more air will leak out through the nozzle to the air. And this will result lesser pneumatic air go inside the amplifier relay, thus reduce the output pneumatic air signal to the actuator. And this will result the diaphragm move downward even more. As a result, both stem and the attached spring tension will move downward even more. Due to the location of the fulcrum or support in the middle of the force spring or the force beam, the downward movement of the spring tension will cause the baffle at this side move towards the nozzle. And this will cause the gap between the nozzle and baffle remain constant. Now, how about this motion balance pneumatic positioner? If we increase the set point or control signal, 
for example, from 3 psi to 10 psi, this will result more pneumatic air signal to the bellows. And because of this, it will cause the whole beam move towards the nozzle. And then this will result lesser air leak out to the atmosphere through the nozzle. And then more air will go into the relay amplifier. The, addi the additional air plus the incoming air supply will increase the output pneumatic air signal to the actuator. And this will result the diaphragm move outward even more. As a result, both stem and the attached link will move outward even more and bring the, the whole beam outward even more to achieve the constant gap between beam and nozzle. If let's say we reduce the control signal or set point, for example, from 15 psi to 5 psi, so what will happen is there will be lesser instrument pneumatic air signal to the bellows. And this will cause the beam, the whole beam move outward. And then more air will be leaked out to the atmosphere and lesser air will go into the relay amplifier. This will cause lesser output pneumatic air signal to the actuator. And then this will cause the diaphragm move downward even more. As a result, both stem and the attached link will move downward more. And this movement will cause the whole beam move downward. Thus, keep the gap between the beam and nozzle become constant. So that's it. This, this is the explanation for force balance and motion balance pneumatic position. Thanks.